geometry point a dot marked on a sheet of paper a point shows definite position a point does not have length breadth or thickness a point is represented by capital letter for example a b c etc line it is the set of points that extend in both directions a line has no end point and also no breadth and thickness a line can be denoted by using small letters l m n etc or by using two points on it a line is represented by pq there are two types of lines straight and curved straight lines can be horizontal vertical or slanting intersecting lines if two lines meet at a point or tend to meet if extended then these are intersecting lines ab and pq are two lines that intersect at a point o parallel lines if two lines are separated by same distance throughout their length and never meet ab and pq are two parallel lines line segment any fixed part of line is called line segment line segment has fixed length and two end points line segment here has two end points a and b ray ray is a line segment that extend endlessly in one direction it begins at a point called initial point it has no definite length concurrent lines lines that passing through the same point are called concurrent lines all lines passing through point p thus all are concurrent lines collinear points points that all lie on the same line are called collinear points point a b and c all lies on the line ac non collinear points points that do not lie on the same point point d e f and g does not lie on the line ac coplanar lines lines that lies in the same plane are called coplanar lines ab and pq are coplanar lines parallel lines two lines in the plane that can never intersect each other ab and pq are two parallel lines ab is parallel to pq perpendicular lines two lines intersecting at right angle ab is perpendicular to pq mark a point o draw ray oa from point o and another ray ob starting from the same point o angle when two rays lines or line segment meet at a common point an angle is formed arms the two rays oa and ob are called arms vertex point where two rays meet is known as vertex interior and exterior of an angle points lying inside the angle form the interior of the angle points x y and z lies in the interior of angle aob points lying outside the angle forms the exterior of the angle points p q r and s lies in the exterior of angle aob measuring an angle angles are measured in the unit called degree with the help of a device called protector baseline straight edge of a protector curved edge has two scales inner scale and outer scale each division represent 1 degree the number of degree angle is called measurement classification of angles acute angle angle measure more than 0 degree and less than 90 degree angle aob is equal to 60 degree it is an acute angle obtuse angle 
angle measure more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree. Angle AOB is equal to 125 degree. It is an obtuse angle. Right angle. Angle measure equal to 90 degree. Angle AOB is equal to 90 degree. It is an right angle. Straight angle. Angle measure is equal to 180 degree. Angle AOB is equal to 180 degree. It is a straight angle. Zero angle. Angle measures 0 degree. Reflex angle. Angle measure more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree. Angle AOB is equal to 245 degree. It is a reflex angle. Complete angle. Angle measure to 360 degree. Thank you.